CSS3 background and gradient colors. For the background, we can use colors and images. And using CSS3, we can apply gradient colors. The background color property specifies the color of the element. We can apply background color to web page and individual divisions. First, we are going to apply color to the web page. In between style tag, write body style to apply color to the web page. Body, open and close brackets. Then write background color style, apply any color. Background hyphen color, colon, green, semicolon. Then file save as background.html and open HTML file with brochure. We got web page with green color. This is the web page background color. With the same method, we can apply colors to the divisions. Already we have applied colors to the divisions using background hyphen color property. Create division and apply background. Div open tag and div close tag. Then add class. Class name is within quotes 1. Then create style dot one open and close brackets. Then add styles. We are going to specify 100% width for the division. Width colon 100 percentage semicolon. Height colon 100 pixel semicolon. Then background iPhone color colon yellow semicolon. Save and update. We got division with yellow color and we specified 100% width. So the division will use the web page width as division width. And we can use different methods to specify colors. Then apply image for the background. We can use images to the web page and divisions. We are going to apply background image for the division. Create division. Instead of that, copy paste the div tags. And edit the class name. Rename it within quotes too. Now we have two divisions with different class names. Then add style to the class 2 division. For that copy paste the class 1 division style and edit the properties. Rename the class name dot 2. Then instead of color we are going to use image. Change the property to background hyphen image colon. Then in the value we have to specify the image path. It's like URL open and close brackets within quotes image path it's like images slash leaf dot gif we have to specify the image path with url save and update we got background image but the image repeat for the whole division size we don't want to repeat the whole size we can specify it we can control it add style no hyphen repeat semicolon. It should be background hyphen repeat colon no hyphen repeat semicolon. Save and update. Now we got image on the division left top position only. Because the image size is very small, we can use the same size images for the divisions or web page. And for the repeat, we can specify only in horizontal or vertical. Edit the style to create background image only in horizontal. Instead of no repeat, change to repeat hyphen x semicolon. Now we got only in horizontal repeat. The same way we can specify vertical also. Change to repeat hyphen y semicolon. To see the result, increase the division height. Increase the value to 500 pixel. Save and update. Now we got only in vertical direction. Like this we can apply image in any direction or the whole size we can apply. Or use the actual image size using no repeat option. Remove repeat style. Now the image is applied to the whole size. Again add no repeat and we can specify the position for the image within the division. I am going to align the image on right top. Add style. Background hyphen position colon right space top semicolon. Save and update. The background image is moved to top right. We can choose any position like top left, bottom right and left 
and pixel value also we can specify. Next, gradient colors. Using CSS3, we can specify gradient colors. Create division for gradient color. Div open tag and div close tag. The div open tag add class. Class equal to within quotes gradient. Then style it dot gradient open and close brackets and add style specify width 100 percentage and height 400 pixel and we can use CSS3 to apply gradient color. And we can use CSS3 to apply gradient color. We should specify the CSS3 style for the different browsers like Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Opera and Standard. We should use latest browsers for CSS3 features. Write style, background colon iPhone WebKit, WebKit for Safari. Background colon iPhone WebKit, iPhone linear iPhone gradient. Then within brackets, specify the colors. Go to online and choose colors for the gradient color. Copy color value and paste it in the notepad. The first value is hash 9 f 248 and choose the second color. It's hash 477A14. Then after that semicolon. Write comment for which brochure and version. Like forward slash asterisk for Safari. 5.1 to 6.0 an asterisk and forward slash then for the other brochures copy paste this style and edit the text background colon iphone 0 iphone linear iphone gradient so here instead of iphone webkit it's iphone o this is for opera then change the command like Opera 11.1 to 12.0. And again paste the style background colon iPhone MOZ iPhone. This is for Mozilla Firefox. And the comments forward slash asterisk for Firefox 3.6 to 6.0. Asterisk and forward slash. Then last, specify for standard syntax. Background colon linear iPhone gradient within quotes hash color values and the common it's forward slash star for standard syntax star and forward slash. Then save and update. We got gradient color now. We have to scroll the window to see the div. To avoid that, reduce the previous div height. Reduce to 100 pixel. Now we got everything in the screen. We have background color, image and gradient color using CSS3. For the gradient colors, we can use color values, color names and RGB colors. And we can specify the gradient color angle also. Add the angle value 120 degree. Come on. Then copy paste the angle for all the brochures. Save and update. The angle is changed now. Like this we can specify any angle. Then we can use multiple colors for the gradient. This time I am going to use color name to specify color. Add color name pink. Then copy paste for other brochures. We got three colors in the gradient color. We can add more colors if we want. Using CSS3, we can apply gradient color. For that, we have to specify for different brochures. The gradient direction we can change by angle value and we can use multiple colors for the gradient. 
This is how we can use CSS3 background colors, images and gradient colors in HTML.